Hi everyone, Chuthany Chu Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Bad Bunny album, Nadie Sabe Lo Que Va A Pasar Mañana. This is a brand new LP from Puerto Rico's own Bad Bunny. English translation on the title, pretty much nobody knows what will happen tomorrow. It is his sixth full length and a follow up to last year's Un Verano Sinti. One of the most popular and most well received albums to come out of the Latin scene that year. It was a huge release for Bad Bunny, not just in terms of the numbers it did, but but the size of the project as well, over 20 tracks on this thing, around 80 minutes of material. The album, in my opinion, was a bit of a mess to work through, but it covered a lot of bases, and honestly, for Bad Bunny, in terms of expanding his career, bringing it to the next level, it worked. I did get the sense on this one that he was pumping a lot of tracks into this record in order to just kind of see what may hit, as I think a lot of mainstream artists tend to do these days. But this was one of the rare occurrences, in my opinion, where an artist actually landed multiple bullseyes in the process of doing this. And with this new LP here, it would seem he's trying to repeat the same success with, again, around 20 tracks, 80 minutes, but the vibe this time around has changed significantly. Right from the opener, which really forecasts a moodier album uh, from Bad Bunny, maybe a more existential album to an extent, which is maybe not too surprising because Un Verano did have its share of emotional moments, but in comparison, I would say Nadie Sabe is even more even-tempered, uh, maybe even predictable, slightly lethargic, and possibly too low-key. Because there are a lot of tracks on this thing right off the bat where I just don't see Bad Bunny taking that many risks, especially on the instrumental side. For sure, the beat on the opening track is uh, pretty epic, and the instrumental on Monaco has this great French chanson sample. This track feels like what would happen if Bad Bunny were uh, tapped on the shoulder to to make the theme for an upcoming 007 movie. He delivers some pretty passionate vocal runs throughout the track too that uh, really show him kind of upping his singing game a bit. But the record sort of goes downhill from here in my opinion, with one cut after the next where it's just generic trap production, generic trap production, uh, bland EDM crossover. And he's really not playing it as bold as he has in the past in terms of like putting an interesting Latin twist on some of these sounds. I mean, with the various name drops and and fashion flexes on Mr. October, for example, I feel like Bad Bunny is doing what I can pretty much hear any American hip hop artist do every week of the year, but he's sort of doing it for a different audience, a different demographic. Even Gracias Por Nada feels like a weekend song of sorts, one of Abel's moodier anthems, but if you could tear the soul out of it and invert the narrative so that the guy doesn't get the girl or has no, uh, I guess, influence over the girl whatsoever and instead is in this position of pitiful desperation, the record gets even more tedious when when you hit cuts like uh, Seda and Telefono Nuevo, one of the most slick and unimaginative cuts here, honestly, even with that dark beat switch after the first leg. I mean, look, if Bad Bunny's music hits, especially on this record, I guess it hits. I'm not saying I'm in a position to be coaching the guy or uh, telling him how to have a successful music career, but personally, some of my favorite moments in his catalog so far have been with tracks where I think he's challenging his audience a bit across the board, no matter where they come from, uh, by taking music and taking sounds that celebrate his cultural roots and bringing them together with uh, some mainstream tropes out of pop and hip hop, whether that, again, be on his last record or through all the the cool and novel ways that he revamped reggaeton music on Yoago. And with this new record, I just feel like we're getting less of that now. We're not really getting much, honestly. I think he's kind of just dealing in beats you could hear on just about anybody's record now. The production choices here are just so impeccably weak, and the overall listening experience of this record is now just very tedious. Which, again, surprising considering how much variety and how wild and out of control the flow of Un Verano Sinti was. Weirdly, I even miss some of the weird rock stuff and crazy, wild, live energy that he had on El Ultimo. But yeah, again, even though Un Verano in many respects was a bit of a mess, I feel like just about everybody had a favorite or two off of that record if you kind of gave it the time to, you know, show those songs to you. Now, Nadie Sabe is just as long as that record, but is just not doing as much, as I think Bad Bunny is delivering some of his most forgettable and average material so far here. Like Mercedes Carota, I don't think a song on this record gets more pointless than this 
this one. The only major detours this record offers up come more toward the end, and even they are disappointing, like uh, a random drill song, as well as a track that sounds like a stale pop rap club hit from the 2000s. There is Baticano, whose sort of industrial dark synthesizer layers feel like something from Kanye's Yeezus, and even though this is certainly one of the more interesting cuts on the record, uh, at about an hour into my experience here, it it's kind of feels like too little too late. But yeah, unfortunately, this record is seriously lacking uh, a lot of the fun and a lot of the vibrance and a lot of the variety uh, and the cutting edge ideas and genre fusions and twists uh, that Bad Bunny has brought to the table on nearly all of his projects so far. While in some respects, I can appreciate that this record is a bit moodier in some pockets when comparing it to other Bad Bunny releases, that's not really enough to sell the album for me personally. It's just too long, too one-dimensional, too unadventurous, not fun, not bold, not memorable, and uh, frankly, pretty drab. I'm feeling a decent too strong four on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Bad Bunny, forever.